Manchester has produced for this British League Riders Championship. The riders here represent the cream of British Speedway. All the big names, all the stars. The current world champion, Oli Olsen from Coventry and Denmark. Three times the world champion, Olsen. And a man who's five times won that title, Ivan Major of New Zealand. There's Reading's uh, Dave Jessup, Michael Lee, youngest ever British champion. And the local boy, Peter Collins, former world champion and twice the winner of this League Riders Championship. And also England captain Malcolm Simmons of Poole. But all the riders here have been the most consistent point scorers in British Speedway during the season. And that consistency really going to be put to the test by these foul conditions tonight. That's Steve Bastable in the yellow and black helmet as the riders come out for the first of the night's 20 heats. Always critical in Speedway, who makes the gate, who makes the first bend, and hypercritical tonight in these very wet conditions, and we're off. And that's the white helmet of the American Scott Autry on the inside. Leads off that first bend, but it's Bastable. Bastable takes him on the outside. Young Steve Bastable from Cradley Heath leads after that first lap. So it's Bastable. Autry. And then the blue of Michael Lee, Cartwright at the back. And you can see from the marks already on the track how much it's going to cut up. Still raining. And who better to tell us what conditions are like here tonight, really, than a man who's going to have to face them in a little while, Malcolm Simmons. Well, you can see here that, you know, I just hate to be second. It's just going to be a, a, a night where you've got to make the start. The inside line seems to be favourite at the moment because of all the slime coming from the, from the riders in front. Into this final lap then of the first heat and it's still Bastable who leads. Remember all the riders have beaten five heats, three points for a win, so it's possible to score a maximum of 15, but that's unlikely tonight. But three points then for Steve Bastable of Cradley Heath. But the surprise for the man with the blue helmet there, Michael Lee, only one point, third in that first heat. Well, there's Bastable, 22 years of age, the son of the former Cradley Heath skipper, Harry Bastable, and indeed one of the brightest young riders around the speedway circuit in England. And he'll certainly be delighted to have taken three points from his first ride. Indeed, any rider who gets three points tonight will be delighted. So the tape's down and the rider's out for heat two. A white helmet there, that of Malcolm Simmons, who we heard a little earlier, saying how critical it was to make the gate, and we'll find out here. He's up against Phil Crump and Ollie Olsen on the inside, and that's Simmons holding it. Billy Saunders of Ipswich going wide on the outside, so it's Simmons, Saunders, and Ollie Olsen's third. Really, the riders having to fight these machines as they come round. Still Simmons. Still Simmons, Saunders and Olsen. Well, the world champion Ollie Olsen will want to collect more than one point, surely, from his first heat. But he's got a lot to make up, especially with the muck and the dirt that's coming up off the track. Simmons holding that line perfectly round that bend. The track much wetter on the inside than it is on the outside. Fighting to hold it the yellow and black flag into the last lap. A massive lead established by Malcolm Simmons as he comes off that final bend to take the chequered flag and three points in his first race. Sanders of Ipswich in Australia is second and Olsen was third for just one point. But it's this man, Malcolm Simmons of Poole, who's taken three points from his first heat there. Surprising that Malcolm Simmons has never finished in the top three in this League Riders Championship, although he's competed many times, second in the World Championships in 1976. Very popular man around the circuit, and always a man with a smile. Dave Jessup of Reading, comes to the tapes for heat three, that's Ivan Major with the white helmet. John Tipman on his inside and Hans Nielsen just testing the tapes there from Denmark. And all the riders are aware that it's very imperative to get a good start. And that's the blue of John Tipman. But it's Jessup from 
from gate four, the yellow and black of Jessup has come on the outside. On the back. Oh, and behind them, there's a pile of two riders on the deck. It's uh, Major and Nielsen. It looked like Nielsen went down first, and Major presumably had to lie down his bike to avoid hitting the other rider. And the rain still coming down. And indeed, Hans Nielsen of Wolverhampton and Denmark is the man missing from this free run of heat three. A judge to have impeded Ivan Major, and away they go, just three riders this time. And again, it's Jessup, Tipman second, and Ivan Major third and last at the moment. Well, not a serious accident that in heat three, but an indication for all the riders and the spectators too. The conditions are far from perfect. Oh, and Jessup's lifted his hand. Dave Jessup of Reading pulling out there. Clearly something wrong with the machine. And that just leaves two. Well, it's Titman and Major to share the points between them. Three for one and two for the other. And it's the blue helmet of John Titman of Leicester. Titman, who appeared in the World Championship final this year for the very first time. He leads, he's in the three-point position, takes the flag for the start of the last lap, and these two riders can really coast round now. Indeed, it looks as though Major is going to do that, although judging from the sounds of his machine, he might have some trouble. But he only has to push it round now. Titman gets three points, but Major can push round for two. of Peter Collins of Bellevue coming to the tape for Heat 4 a first look at Peter Collins for the home crowd here they'll be so anxious for the local rider to do well edging forward touches the tape but he didn't break it so he's not excluded and the dash for the first bend who makes it it looks like Doug Wire of Sheffield it's Wire of Sheffield who leads Collins is second Sheffield leads from Peter Collins. Then comes the white helmet of Larry Ross of Wimbledon. So that puts Phil Hearn Birmingham at the back. And quite a lot for Peter Collins to do here. He's got 10, 12 yards perhaps to make up on Doug Wire. On oh, Collins trying to come on the inside. Didn't do it. But that's local knowledge. Still Wire who leads as they come round for the last lap. Well, Malcolm. Well, you can see from these races and the earlier the earlier races here that the outside gate definitely is favourable tonight. I think it's because the water sort of runs down on the camber and it, it, it's a lot deeper and a lot drier on the outside. So the checkered flag for Doug Wire. Three points for him and Peter Collins gets two. Olsen in the white helmet, the world champion, knows that heat five is crucial. That's Ivan Major in the yellow and black coming on his outside. Olsen with just one point from the... Although Doug Wire in the red nearest the camera, he's got three from that last heat. And who makes the gate? Olsen and Major together. It's Olsen and Major second. So Ollie Olsen, the world champion, leads. Major second, everything's gone right for Ollie Olsen this year, world champion. Incidentally, the winner of this uh, league championship for the last two years, so he could make it a hat-trick if he wins here again tonight. A massive lead for Ollie Olsen already. Oh, and the battle behind him is for second. That looks like Cartwright. and round that bend, but I think it's Cartwright that's taken over in second place from Ivan Major. A really marvellous season for Olsen, look at that lead. As the flag comes up, there's the battle for second again, Major trying to get back. But it's Cartwright holding him, these two side by side. Well, that's all going on behind Olsen. That's uh, Cartwright, the blue helmet. He's second, Major's third. Olsen's way away, and the bike there of Cartwright bouncing up. But it's the check of flag and three points for Ollie Olsen. Ian Cartwright of Halifax second, and Ivan Major third. Just the one point then for Ivan Major.
Peter Collins, Malcolm Simmons, and the white helmet there of Michael Lee. Three of the big names of British Speedway involved here in Heat 6. And a critical race this for all of them. It's Simmons, yellow and black, who leads. Once again, the man from that fourth gate with the drier ground, making the first bend and getting into a vital lead. Simmons leads, the red helmet there, Peter Collins is second. Hans Nielsen of Denmark with the blue helmet, he's third, and Michael Lee is at the back. So Malcolm Simmons, already three points from his first heat, could get another three here and keep him on the maximum of six, although it's unlikely that 15 points will win this championship tonight, surely in these atrocious conditions. A massive lead again for the man in front. Well, that shows you how difficult it is for the riders who are second and third. Sliding the bike through the mud, down the back straight, and almost, well, almost the half the length of that back straight now, the lead for Malcolm Simmons of Poole. Takes the chequered flag. Three points then for Simmons. Collins is second. And Michael Lee, well, he's retired in that one. So no points for Lee. Malcolm Simmons. There is the camera now with the red helmet. Here in heat nine. Maximum points from his first two races. And he'll want to keep up that. Oh, but not riding like this because he's going to be at the back coming off that first bend. It's Larry Ross who leads, John Titman second, Ian Cartwright is third, and Malcolm Simmons right at the back, and that was the blue of Larry Ross then, almost lost his bike. Well, this is a bit of a disaster for Malcolm Simmons, trailing at the back of those four, trying to dive in on the inside. Larry Ross and uh, John Titman dispute the lead. Malcolm Simmons won't want to finish outside the points as he comes up and gets into third place. So a point at the moment for Malcolm Simmons to add to the six that he's already got. Oh, but he's gone again, Simmons. Card riders come back into third place. So the blue helmet of Larry Ross, John Titman behind, then Ian Cartwright, and right at the back, Malcolm Simmons of Poole. So, Malcolm Simmons finishes last in Heat 9, and that's a disaster. Yeah, he's very good at all, wasn't that, that? Before you went out in that race, eh? you look a different man now to what he did before he went out. Yeah, well, he can still manage a smile, but Malcolm Simmons must be bitterly disappointed. Riders at the gate for Heat 13. Ian Cartwright, Peter Collins, Andy Hayes, and Phil Crump. He's re oh my goodness me, well I was about to say he's really throttling it up at the start there and he went right over the back. Yeah, well that was going to happen right from the start. He was winding the throttle and letting it off too quickly, you know, and the, with, the, with the wet conditions and the deep track, it was just bound to happen. Well Andy Hayes, a Bellevue rider, anxious to please the home crowd here, but he's well out of this one now after that fall and it's his colleague Peter Collins who leads. The white helmet of Collins in front, Cartwright is second, and Phil Crump at the back third. Well, Peter Collins with one win and two seconds so far, that's seven points from his three races. A win here will put him on ten and very much in contention. Even on this wet night, this very large track here at the Bellevue, these riders still able to get up to speeds of about 70 miles an hour. But Cartwright in second place needs to produce 71 miles an hour if he's to catch Collins, and he can't. So Peter Collins delights the home crowd with three points. And now, after four races, Peter Collins very much in contention for this championship with ten points. So Peter Collins, with one ride left, could get 13 points if he wins that last race, and that might well be good enough to win tonight. Another rider who could also get 13 points if he wins this heat, and his last is Ollie Olsen on the outside, the yellow and black helmet on 
on seven points so far. Olsen goes round the wide outside from Scott Audrey, the American rider with the blue helmet, and it's Olsen who comes out down that back straight in the lead. Olsen leads, Audrey second, and Larry Ross is third. Well, Ollie Olsen on seven points wants a win here to put him on ten. He looks back, almost acknowledging already that he's going to win here. Look at that lead. Ollie Olsen in terrific form this season, and this will put him on ten points if he wins, and very much in contention. Yeah, well, after that disastrous first ride of Ollie's, it looks like he's really got the track wide up now, and, well, on this sort of form, I don't see anyone who's going to stop him tonight, but, you know, the meeting isn't over yet. So, almost nonchalant then, Ollie Olsen takes the flag for the start of the last lap. 30 or 40 yards of a lead. No way that Scott Autry, the American rider, is going to catch him or anyone else. Well, he could almost get off the bike and walk home from here. So, Olsen wins three points. That puts him on ten, along with Peter Collins. Autry second and Ross is third. White helmet of Steve Bastable as he comes forward for heat 16. This the man who could get amongst the leaders and above them. Only dropped one point from his first three rides. And if he wins this heat, that will put him on 11. And critical again to make the gate, and it looks as though he has. Bastable yards ahead of everybody else on that start. And it's Bastable from Ivan Major second. Major and Malcolm Simmons disputing second and third place there, but it's the red helmet of Ivan Major who's come through in second. Malcolm Simmons is third. And once again, the leading rider able to establish a fairly impressive lead. So difficult to get up once you've been dropped second or third. And young Steve Bastable, one of the bright hopes of British Speedway, only 22 years of age. his way around for surely another three points and with him and Peter Collins and Ollie Olsen with just one ride left and that'll come in heat 20 well they're neck and neck but Bastable will lead by one point if he wins here and it looks as though he will so this will put Bastable on 11 points and Collins and Olsen behind him on 10 this is quite a surprise with Stevie Bassett at the front, but, you know, the next heat's probably going to tell whether he's going to be world-class material or not with world champion and Ollie Olsen and Peter Collins both in it against him. Well, what a marvellous climax this is to this British League Riders' Championship. Surely we couldn't have scripted a better finish because three riders lining up here at this tape, all with a chance of winning it. Steve Bastable, Collins and Ollie Olsen. And who makes the gate? This really will be critical. And it's the blue helmet of Peter Collins powering down that back straight. Olsen second, Bastable third. If it stays like this, Collins will win. And the red helmet, that's... Olsen has dived at him and Olsen's gone in front. Oh, terrific riding by Olsen. Taking Collins on, and Collins is back. Well, my goodness me. These two really dueling it out. And Bastable, who had a chance, well, he's been dropped almost. These two know that they've got to finish ahead of each other, either of them to win. Collins leads. Olsen time. Taking him. Yes, he has. Oh, marvellous riding for Molly Olsen. And Collins comes back. Oh, my goodness me. What a finish. One lap to go, and who's going to get it? Olsen wins the championship. So, Ollie Olsen, three times a world champion and now three times winner of the British League Championship too. Can you move back, Fun? I've got another race. I didn't want that. I was going to finish fourth or win it. Olsen, in it he did. And indeed, uh, Peter Collins finished second after the runoff with Steve Bastable. But surely the Speedway season of 1978. <laughs>